Hey guys, we're back. Um, I f here we're doing our next set of stuff for me because it's night three. I think last time we were, yeah, we were exploring around Hana Valley. So let's head back there. I think it wasn't looking too good. Oh, I'm ah, the game. Oh, no, of course not. Anyway, we're, let's just go and explore around the gray of darking, darkening Hana Valley because it's sort of bad looking. It doesn't look too healthy right now. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, go to that treasure chest and you get a traveler's charm. What do they do? Protects travelers from danger. Increases godhood by one level. I'll have to explain godhood next time we get in a battle. Um, over there you see another lake of uh, disgusting brown grossy water. Um, it's not good for you because it's brown and gross and sort of sewagey and not healthy. Oh wait, there's stuff happening over here. Apparently there's a camp full of imps. They look like they're having a great time doing some stuff. Oh, oh no, we're gonna battle again. Well, uh, time for some pure heart owning. Um, yeah, okay. Down in the le le bottom left hand corner, um, you can see a circle with a thing that looks like Amorutsu in it, and that is your godhood. You see, I just got hit and I lost some godhood. Like, when your godhood, godhood protects you from damage. If you have a really, really good godhood, um, like, I think it can go up to three, which, when it is up to three, it is green. Uh, stop it, you stupid imp. Stop. Oh my gosh. Please die. Uh, thank you. But, ah, uh, don't you go smacking your booty. But yeah, um... When your godhood is all up high, you can take three, it's either three or four hits, I think it's three, with that, and those hits, you don't get any damage, your godhood just goes down a level. When you have no more godhood, that picture of Amaratsu in a bubble will be a skull and crossbones. That means if you get hit, you will lose health. Oh, oh wait, we were getting some good stuff there, but the disgusting water sort of took it away. Um, huh? We aren't rid of the monsters. So, you know, why did the gods' power disappear? Guess that curse on the gods of these lands must be really strong. They can't intervene till we do something about this stagnant air. What about the pooty water over there? That looks pretty bad. I think it looks even less inviting than the air. I mean, we just got some smog here with the air, but look at that. It's like a... Oh, it's just gross looking at that water. I would not want to fall into that. Can I burn myself in the fire? Oh, that's that's nice. You can't get hurt on this fire. Well, maybe because we're, like, all godly and stuff. It wouldn't... I don't know. Ooh, we, wait, we got a feed bag. You contained feed bag fish. Fresh fish, irresistible to animals who dine on fish. There aren't a lot of animals in this game that eat fish. The majority is cats. We'll be seeing a lot of cats at one point in this game. And when I say a lot of cats, I mean a lot of cats. And that's a lot when I say a lot. Or maybe a few. I don't know. It's just... They eat cats like fish. In this game. So yeah, let's check out this tree. <laughs> hey, check out that tree. It's moving. Better be careful, Amy. Oh, it doesn't look too cool. What's it doing? Oh, it slung something at us. That wasn't nifty. Well, sort of was, because trees don't usually do that, but that could have hurt. It was all pink and flamey. You see that? It just threw some fruit at us. Show, show it we mean business. Try to hit its fruit back at it. Draw one quick stroke to hit the fruit. You remember how, don't ya? Yeah, I remember, Ishin. Oh, oh no, there's a fruit coming towards us. Bam! Home run! What? You stunned it with its own fruit. Let's pass on by this creepy old tree while we can. Yeah, let's get away from that thing. 
Oh wait, I think I forgot to mention, the camera isn't really wobbly anymore, and it's sorta angled and straightish. That's because I'm using a tripod. I dug up a tripod and learned how to use it, and we're using a nice tripod with coolness. It's not all crookedy or wiggly anymore. It's nice and neat, and I like it because we're using a tripod and it's cool. You know what? I'm not going to waste my ink on you, tree. I'm going to run by you. Let's go explore. Oh, we, we're getting some stuff. Oh, we got a big wall with some scary painting. So Usually paint doesn't do that thing with the flashing, so it's probably cursed. But we got a guy with a swirly head over there. He's got a swirly bubble. That usually means that he's confused. Oh, oh, there's some green M stuff. They're playing some music. Oh, what's this? It's this thing underground shifting up dirt. Oh. Oh, it's a yellow imp. These guys are annoying. They play really big drums that cause explosions, and then they go under the ground and you can't hit them. And, like, you can only get them into that weird gray thing where they lose your color, their color. If when they come out of the ground, they're not face, you're not in their line of sight. And that can be hard sometimes. Um, where is he? I want to get rid of... Oh, I see he's right there. He already saw me. He's going to make some weird bomb happen. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. That sort of hurts. You don't want that to happen to you. And what stinks about these guys is they can, like, waste... The yellow imps can waste your time limit. See, look. If you don't do it right, they'll pop up, and you don't do a lot of damage on them. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, and you sort of... Once they go back under, you just got to wait around for them. Yeah, see, there he is. Oh, but he didn't see me this time, so I do a lot more damage. Then he fell on his butt over there. Yeah, we just gotta chop him up a bit, and I'm not sure if cutting him in half will get you... Yeah, cutting yellow imps and red imps and green imps in half get you a demon, demon fang. That's pretty good. Oh, see, they waste... They, we totally... They messed up our time. Stupid yellow imp. <laughs> Being all underground, unable to get all hit. Yeah. Oh, we're looking at this. Oh, look. We made good stuff happen, and the painting isn't all brown and... Not brown. Red and black and flashy. It's sort of not there anymore. Oh, we're getting to... Oh, it's Susano here. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's not the voice. Hmm. What's all that racket? Oh, it's you, Mutt. What are you doing here? Go home. I already told you I'm not looking for apprentices. Anyway, Hana Valley is no place for a mutt like you. That's rude. You don't know your manners, Susano. You're being mean. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. It's the perfect place to hide. I... <laughs> <laughs> er, I, I mean, to train, of course. Now scoot, be off with ya. Ah, well we see Susano's got a problem. We gotta go fix it. Um, just check out this big painting over here first though. It looks, I, I like it more. I don't want to talk to Susano. He's sort of mean to me. Uh, let's look at this. Wow, check out that wall painting. It's said that a crystal sphere that makes trees grow is in shine somewhere around here. Based on this painting here, I'd say the rumor must be true. Still, something's not right. Don't you think there's something missing from the painting? Hmm. Well, since my timer on my camera is getting around nine minutes, you'll just have to guess for yourself until next time. See you later, guys, on the next episode of Let's Play Okami.